Yeah, good day. Um, yeah, my memory card ran out of memory, so I'll just continue on uh, part two, continuing uh, with uh, where I ended the last time. So, with the making of beer, just keep on stirring till everything has dissolved properly and mixed properly. Once you're happy that everything has dissolved, uh, we look at the temperature. Temperature is currently at about 24-26 degrees, which is uh, pretty good for pitching your yeast. Don't pitch your yeast if it's over 30 degrees. I prefer the room temperature to be, or the temperature of the of the the wood. Um, to be about between 20 and 28 degrees is it's ideal. Uh, I know for, for dark, for ales and so on, you should have it around 16 to 18 degrees, but it's a bit slow fermenting. I like to ferment mine a little bit quicker. The higher the temperature, the quicker it will ferment out. It will probably take about five days at about 25 degrees. Um, I got a a digital th uh, thermo uh, thermostat that, that switches the fan on and off to keep the room temperature at a constant temperature of about 25 degrees and it should take about between 5 to 7 days for uh, the room mix to ferment out. So now after we've done it, um, we mix all the ingredients together, we can just take a sample, uh, I'll just get some of Remix and just to get a standard gravity, so I've got that, and I'll just put this one side. And I'll just take this. This is what I call uh, it's a beer and a wine and beer hydrometer. Hydroma, hydroma Sorry about my. So that's, and that shows you actually different scales for the beer. The beer, where the, the starting gravity is, and where the final gravity is. So it will start, beer will normally start around there, and when it's finished, it will finish there where it says beer on it. Uh, that's a green scale, which is about 1.000 and 1.006. So I'm just going to slip this, this is just a little glass jar I've got, just to take a final gravity. I will slip the hydrometer in and we'll just give it a spin that releases the bubbles in it. And it's a bit difficult to see where exactly it is. I'll have a quick look. And it's, it's got a, a it looks like it's got a gravity of about 1.38 about 1.38 is the standard gravity so um, now we're going to put our airlock on it's just a lid with the hydrometer uh, um, a little grommet and an airlocker uh, I'll take the spoon out. Let's put it somewhere where it has a mess. Put a lid on. Open the lid up. Uh, oh, maybe I should first pitch the yeast. They won't work. So, this is your premium brewing yeast that comes with with a with a um, brewing mix. It's normally just underneath the lid. So if you just take the lid off, it's just underneath the lid. It's just a little packet in there. So we'll just add a brewing yeast. 
and just, just sprinkle it on top. Sprinkle all the yeast on. That's gonna consume all the sugars, all the the malt and the, the actual the actual extras. Just give it a light stir. Don't have to stir it too much. Just give it a very very light stir. more you stir, stir your beer, the more air you can get into it, the better it will work. Just give it a light stir, that's good enough. And you just close your preventer, make sure to seal this properly on, in, on, a, on, a, on the lid, make it as star as you you can make it as tight as you can and just fill up your air locker to about halfway so that the bubble is just about halfway with the water And when it's about halfway there, in the middle, it should be fine. Then just press on the lid and just hold it like that. Either one side stays up, and you've got a good airtight seal. If you leave the lid, it should go back to normal. Press on it and hold it. It shouldn't go back. If it goes back, that means you've got a leak or your lid is not sealing or, or either your, your grommet is not sealing and you haven't got a good seal. So if it doesn't go out, your, um, I call it a little bubbler, it won't make little bubbles in there. And that's actually gives you an indication when your beer is close to finish too. Thanks for watching. Show you when uh, when I do the next uh, bottling video. Cheers.